In this video, I'm going to show you why does skin blister and how to treat skin blisters. Blisters are small pockets of fluid that usually form in the upper layers of the skin after it's been damaged. Blisters can develop anywhere on the body, but are most common on the hands and feet. Fluid collects under the damaged skin, cushioning the tissue underneath. This protects the tissue from further damage and allows it to heal. Most blisters are filled with clear fluid, but may be filled with blood or pus if they become inflamed or infected. So what causes blisters? Blisters can be caused by friction to the skin, heat, for example a sunburn or scald, contact with chemicals such as a detergent, or medical conditions such as chicken pox. So how do you treat blisters? Most blisters heal naturally after 3-7 to seven days and don't require any medical attention. It's important to avoid bursting the blister because this could lead to an infection or a slowdown in the healing process. If the blister does burst, don't peel off the dead skin. Instead, allow the fluid inside the blister to drain and cover the area with a dry, sterile dressing to protect it from infection until it heals. So when should you see your doctor? You should see your doctor if you have blisters that you think are infected, are very painful, or they just keep coming back. An infected blister will be filled with yellow or green pus and may be painful, red and hot. It's important not to ignore an infected blister because it could lead to a secondary and contagious bacterial infection of the skin and further complications such as cellulitis or sepsis. You should also talk to your doctor if you have blisters in unusual places, such as on your eyelids or inside your mouth, or if they appear after severe sunburn, burns or scalds, or after an allergic reaction, or after coming into contact with chemicals or other substances. There are a number of things you can do to avoid getting blisters caused by friction, sunburn or chemicals. For example, you can wear comfortable well-fitting shoes, help keep your feet dry with thicker socks or talcum powder, wear gloves when handling chemicals and use sunscreen. So how can you treat a blister yourself? To relieve any pain, you can use an ice pack or a bag of frozen vegetables wrapped in a towel on a blister for up to 30 minutes. To protect the blister and help prevent infection, do cover blisters that are likely to burst with a soft plaster or dressing, do wash your hands before touching a burst blister, and do allow the fluid in a burst blister to drain before covering it with a plaster or dressing. Things you shouldn't do is do not burst a blister yourself, do not peel the skin off a burst blister, do not pick at the edges of the remaining skin, and do not wear the shoes that caused the blister in the first place until it heals. A pharmacist can help with blisters, so to protect them from becoming infected, a pharmacist can recommend a plaster or dressing to cover it whilst it heals. A hydrocolloid dressing can help reduce pain and speed up the healing. Finally, if you're regularly getting friction blisters on your feet from shoes, try wearing comfortable well-fitting shoes instead, gradually break in new shoes, wear thicker wool socks during exercise, dust talcum powder in your socks if you get sweaty feet, and wear protective gloves when you exercise or if you use tools at work. I hope you've enjoyed this video on why blisters happen and how to treat skin blisters. And if you have, please subscribe to this video and don't forget to give it the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on why we get nosebleeds. Thanks for watching and bye for now.